Well, the complaints about a National Grid billing error, which CBS 6 first uncovered yesterday, continue to roll into our newsroom pretty fast and furious. 40,000 local gas customers have been told that they were not charged enough on their January bill, and the utility is now looking to collect. Jennifer Lukey first broke this story, and she joins us live now with The Real Deal. Jen? Well, Dory, after our stories aired last night, we received hundreds of emails, phone calls, and Facebook messages from folks still very upset about the billing error, asking if it's even legal for National Grid to go back and change the price it already charged us last month. The utility has turned down my repeated requests for an on-camera interview about this, but a spokesman did tell me via email today it is within the utility's right to make adjustments to our bill when a mistake is made. When you ask a National Grid customer about his or her bill, this is pretty much the standard answer. I hate to tell them they charged me enough. The January bills were some of the highest we've seen in a while, and due to a billing error on the gas supply side, we've learned it actually wasn't high enough. National Grid miscalculated the supply cost, and now it tells us 40,000 customers owe on average an additional $10. That is not sitting well with many folks. I'm on a fixed income. I'm retired. I'm on a fixed income. I don't get extra when I, this comes up. Be nice still have to pay the bill. Or they're going to shut it off. Many of our Facebook fans are questioning whether National Grid can even go back on its bill. Lisa writing, quote, as a business owner, if I make a miscalculation, I eat it for the sake of my customer satisfaction. Seems a bit fishy to me. Barbara saying, quote, oh, please, you underbilled? Suck it up, buttercup. Your profits are outrageous anyway. And Cindy adding, quote, I want to fight this. Besides complaining to National Grid, where do I go? Well, complaints about utilities are filed with the Public Service Commission, but it probably won't do you any good to complain about this particular billing error. As National Grid told me today in an email, quote, we are not required to seek prior approval from the Public Service Commission for the correction of a billing error for either an undercharge or an overcharge. Since there were generators and energy service companies involved, we felt that we had an obligation to present a corrected bill to accurately reimburse those suppliers. Now, a welcome piece of news for frustrated customers. The Public Service Commission announced recently an independent auditor will look into National Grid's books, its customer service, staffing levels, pretty much everything. This was not in response to this error. These audits are happening with most upstate utilities, but there is sure to be a lot of interest in it, and we, of course, will keep you posted on that. Now, it's not just gas and electric customers that are seeing big bills this heating season. If you heat with propane, you've seen a substantial increase in your price per gallon too, and you may even be having a hard time getting a fill-up. We called around to a number of local dealers who tell us they're having a hard time getting propane. Some of the national companies aren't even accepting new customers right now because of this shortage. We're going to have much more on that story coming up tomorrow night here on CBS 6. But for now, live in studio, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News.